Well, Max, you think they're ready for meiosis? Ready for whose osis? Meiosis, let me show ya. Meiosis is how we make sex cells, or gametes, the sperm cells, or egg cells performing the feat of moving genes forward in eukaryotes like orchids and bees. Meiosis doesn't happen in all cells of the body, there's just a few cells that have this hobby. I'm talking about germ cells and testes and ovaries. Germ cells are diploid, and what that means is that the chromosomes are paired up in teams. In each pair, one's from your dad, one's from your mother. When you line up the chromosomes, it's suddenly clear how each is a member of a coupled pair. Homologous pairs, each a homolog of the other. In humans, the diploid number is 46, and a key trick that happens in meiosis is dividing that number in half to 23. And that single set of chromosomes has its own name. It's called haploid in this meiotic game. So diploid to haploid is a key meiotic strategy. Meiosis makes eggs and sperm. It's the same in the robin as it is in the worm. Makes haploid gametes recombination. Meiosis creates variation. In interphase one, meiosis starts. It's the DNA replication part, an evolutionary relic of its origin. Cause meiosis evolved from mitosis, you see, so each process starts identically, replicating chromosomes into two sister chromatids. In prophase, one chromosomes coil up and homologous pairs pair up, forming tetrads, each with chromatids four. A chiasma is a spot where the chromatids link, and synapsis is a name for the whole darn thing, and crossing over is what this whole process is for. See, the homologs aren't identical twins, no way they're not the same DNA. The genes are the same, but the alleles might take different forms. So during synapsis, alleles can cross over between homologs, and when it's all over, there are gene combinations that have never been seen before. Meiosis makes eggs and sperm, it's the same in the robin as it is in the worm. Makes haploid gametes recombination, meiosis creates variation. Another biotic variety creator is metaphase 1 with homologs at the equator because how each pair lines up is random and independent. So in one pair face in north might be the maternal and the next one it might be the paternal. It's a one and two shot, it's called independent assortment. So two pairs divide up in four distinct ways, it's two to the number of pairs you could say. So think about us humans with 23 homologous pairs. 2 to the 23rd power is a number so great, it's 8,388,608, that's why metaphase 1 is a variety creating affair. And now connect this assortment with recombination, note that what we've got during gamete creation is sperm and egg cells that are absolutely unique. So if you ever wondered why sisters or brothers can be so different from one another, just remember these meiotic recombining techniques. And if meiosis had never evolved, the book of life would be a very different tome. Cause if it wasn't for meiosis, all offspring would be clones. Metaphase one, homologs the equator. Anaphase one, they say, see you later. It's like mom and dad splitting up and setting up new homes. Two nuclei form in telophase one, then cytokinesis, meiosis one is done. We've got two haploid daughters still with doubled chromosomes. Now things are much simpler in part two of meiosis. Essentially, it's just like mitosis. You just need to pull those sister chromatids apart. They line up in the center in metaphase, two anaphase pulls them apart, we're almost through. Telophase, then cytokinesis, we're at the last part. Meiosis makes egg and sperm, it's the same in the robin as it is in the worm. Makes haploid gametes recombination, meiosis creates variation. Well, Max, how do you think we did? You think they understand meiosis now? You know, I don't know why anyone would ever want to understand Eurosis. Max, it's not Eurosis, it's Meiosis. Haven't you been listening to the song? I know it's not Meiosis, that's why I said Eurosis. Max, if you don't understand Meiosis, you're never going to be able to pass your jeans on. You know what, I'm going to keep my jeans on, and I want you to keep Eurosis to yourself.